So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Google Bard's new update. So right now, I'm currently inside Google Bard, and to check on the update, simply click on this help icon, and click on updates right there, and we'll get directed on the update section. This is what I'm about about Google Bard, is that they have specific update sections, so you don't have to check Google or anything else regarding their update. So the first thing here is Bard is getting its biggest upgrade, Yet with Gemini Pro, what's starting today, we're introducing Gemini Pro in Bard. So basically, they're having it more powerful and understanding YouTube videos a lot more. So let's try this one out. So this is our main focus for the day, the YouTube videos. So let's go back on the main page and basically click on extensions. You just want to make sure Google or YouTube Bard or Google Bard and YouTube are synchronized. So click on that button right there, make sure it's green. So let's get started right here. So since I said we're gonna focus on YouTube, I have a prompt here, for example, give me a recipe for a, let's just say since it's December, pecan pie. Show me a video, right? So instead of just giving me a list, now Google Bard will give me a list of video. So the first thing we notice is that it really is as a bit more powerful on YouTube. So let's check or expand its more um, new update on YouTube, right? So let's try this one out. So by default, I think they are giving five um, videos. So let's try this one right now. I love this uh, content creator, Joshua. So let's try this one because I love this content creator, Joshua. So I'm going to type in, give me the recipe for video three. And let's see if it can itemize the specific recipe. Let's see how powerful Bard is right now. Okay, I am actually surprised how powerful Bard is right now because it took the exact recipe of that specific video. And trust me, upon checking earlier, because I love that content creator, right? This is without a doubt the exact recipe. Okay then, I must say this is very powerful as of now. So let's expand it a little bit more. How about let's ask him, can you describe the overall tone or style of the video such as informative, entertaining, or persuasive? Right now I'm really amazed if it can still answer this because if it is, it's much like talking to a real person now, right? So let's see if Google Bard can really answer that. Let me just click on that one so it will be removed. So the overall tone of video is informative and enthusiastic. The host Joshua Wiesman is clearly passionate about baking. Okay then, so this is actually a very powerful update. So please take note that it, I'm just asking some little things here. I'm exact, or rather I'm asking exact questions inside the video. So you must watch the video first before answering my question. I think that is what Bard's doing right now. So let's ask some more. For example, I'm going to ask another topic. How do I use Google Drive? So for example, with this one, since I'm familiar, I'm going to type this one. Show me a video. And I think they're still going to give me five sample results here to choose from. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay then, again, five examples for a video. I mean, am I right? Okay then, there are five samples. So I'm going to go with the first one since I love Kevin regarding MS offices and such. I'm going to type in this one. The, let me just say the first video. What key points, okay? What key points or insights? Again, we're just asking things that you should, you should watch it first before answering, right? So we're discussed in the video. I think I've misspelled something here. Let me just correct that one, especially this first one, and simply click on submit. And let's see if Bard can still answer this. On the first video, what are the key points or insights we're discussed in the video? And right now, if Bard can still answer this, I'm going to be really amazed. On Google Bart's new update because these questions can only be answered if you watch the video 
So right now, I'm unable to access the YouTube content. This is a possible for a number of reasons, but most of the common reasons are the content is not a valid YouTube link. So I think we have found the constraint of Bard as of now. So let's try another one. Let's try a different tile or different um video. So give me a video about let's just say financial or personal finance. I'm just going to go with that one. Give me a video about personal finance. So there are, I think, five again. And then for video, let me just check. I'm going to go with number two. For video number two or video two, were there any charts, graphs, or visual aids used in the video? Okay. To support the information presented so my approach here is just asking bard some really complicated questions that can only be answered if you watch the video so let's try it out and see if it's applicable so i think the only constraint here is that video is not valid or has any potential for any problems bard will not access it that's what i noticed about it so in the video 8 greatest personal finance there were no charts, graphs, or visual graphics. So on this video, I know this video, I watched it, I think, two days ago. There is indeed no charts, graphs, or any visual aids. So Bart is correct once again. So let's try one more. Take me to the first, or either let me just say time code of first graphic or the first graphic. Okay. Let me see if how powerful Bard is regarding this kinds of questions. So I'm just asking what is the first time code? Again, that is 0.30 seconds. And I think that is correct because upon watching it from earlier, last two days ago, it is around 29 to 30 seconds or 31. The first graphic has been shown. So let's try this one more. Is there a specific target audience? that the video seems to be addressing because i want to know before watching it if i am the target audience right but basically i'm just asking really complicated questions here to see new update it so the video seems addressing general audience interested in personal finance good answer bard last question did the video receive any um comments or engagement this is now real time or the comments they received the video, right? I'm going to check if Bard can check it. Viewers and what are some common reactions? Okay, this is going to be my final question. If Bard can still answer this, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 recommendation for the new update. And basically, Bard lives up to its potential. So yes, the video received many comments and these are the common reactions. Mostly are positive, motivated, curious, and supportive. Anyway, that is how to use the new update of Google Bard. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.